terrible tragedy. That question is in all of our thoughts. Investigators' works are, are just going to focus on howls, but that why will always haunt us. Our stricken hearts and minds, we use words like senselessness, purposelessness. But to guide us in coping, God reminds us in the Quran that everything, everything is for a purpose. Nothing happens for nothing. And while he may never let us know the true purpose for what we've suffered here, we need to ask ourselves what is that purpose for us. And then with reliance in God, we need to answer for ourselves by picking ourselves up alone and together to find our purpose. The investigators have theirs, and they'll do what they'll need to do. But there's still young kids, young orphan kids, that need to be loved and nurtured. There's still parents and relatives that need to be consoled. And our human touch is the best way to do that. There's the work of touching lives to be done for us to do, a purpose for us. First responders, no words can convey or remove the visions burned into your minds. The fragility of life. No thanks can convey the gratitude we have. But I'll tell you what I see. You see, the, the Quran teaches that at the moment of death, the angels sent by God escort the souls to their eternal homes with Him. And back here in our existence, you, unaware of all that happening in the unseen, you do right by what remains, by their bodies that are still there. And you, working along with the unseen angels, carry these souls in these bodies to the places where they belong. And so may God keep you resolute and strong in your purpose. And so, yeah, we said it. Our beloved ones have moved on to their eternal life. This is something that we all know and we all believe and we all hold it. But we're still here. And we grieve because we're going to miss them for a long time, forever. But as we have our memories of them, we also have our hope of reuniting with them. You see, the Quran teaches that the angels that are with God at the throne, God's throne, they pray to God for us humans. And one of these prayers is that families and friends all be reunited in everlasting happy life. And so as I close, please join me as we pray like the angels do. Our Lord, enter them into eternal paradise. That which you promised them and with them reunite those who do right from their parents, their spouses, and their children. Indeed, you are the most magnificent, the most wise. Amen. Remind us that in the very darkest of times that we face, we can stand in it and through it together. You remind me that love wins. That despite our faith expressions, our shared humanity, our belief in the all-powerful that is beyond ourselves, and seeking of the common good will always bring us closer together. You remind me that God is with us, even in ways that I do not understand, which is a great gift to us all. And for that, I am greatly, 
I'm deeply grateful. Thank you for your words. As I speak from the Christian tradition, I add to the consolation and hope that we have already heard. Belief in a God who knows all that we go through, who grieves with us in times of trial, who walks beside us in the dark valleys, and who longs to wipe away every tear from our eye. Belief in a God who meets us where we are at again and again and again. Whether we are stuck in the miry pit, whether we are walking through that dark valley, or whether we are on a mountaintop meeting us again and again to comfort us, grant us hope and wholeness in life with God. My comfort comes from a God who took on flesh, who walked among us, who bore pain and sorrow and loved us so much even to stay with us unto death. My comfort comes from a God who breaks the power of death and offers fullness of life here in the present. Also,